Hello, my name is Ramon Gutanda, um, and in this video I'm going to try to show you how to use the, the tool Concord Performance System. Um, English is not my, my mother tongue, so I do apologize if I don't speak very clearly to you or if I make any kind of uh, mistake or grammatic or anything, um, because I'm Spanish, not, not English speaking. Right, so um, Concord, Perform uh, Concord Performance System is a tool to calculate um, uh, many different values and settings uh, used uh, in the Concord. Uh, it's, this tool in the latest version is compatible with both um, the Concord X by Flatsyn Labs and it's also compatible now with uh, SS at, uh, SSTSIM um, the Concord. Uh, so you can use this tool both with uh, FS, FS10 or FS9 with any of these aircrafts. So the first thing you should do is download the tool. Um, because of the, of the free website it's not as straightforward as in, only, as in many other websites. So first of all you've got to go here to the latest version link and here you also f always find the, the link to the latest version which is password protected uh, because of the of the way it's uploaded uh, so once you click here then you uh, the developer is French is Pierre Sassan and because of that the, the web page cho chosen to download the, the the file is a French website that's why it may, may sound or may be very weird to you if you are English speaking right so here in in this box over here this is where you have to paste the password that uh, was uh, highlighted in red in the previous page so you now click here in Telecharger which is download in French and you choose anywhere in, the, in your hard drive to, to save your file. Um, you will see that all the system messages are in Spanish because of my, my window, Windows version is Spanish. So you just have to download here uh, in your desktop and then you just run it. It's a pretty for one installation. If you've got any, any other previous version, which I have here already somewhere here. Um, the installation is a uh, Oh, in Spanish too now, uh, on the latest version. You've got several languages here. Now, so you just have to go accept and go all over the way. Uh, I've chosen um, a custom path. I don't like installing things on, on the program uh, on the program files uh, folder because of uh, you know that Windows 7 has got several problems with with permissions and everything. So uh, I prefer to choose a different folder. And if you've got a previous version, it's a pretty straightforward uh, installation. It will just detect you had previously installed it and then override the the previous with a, with a new one. So once we are ready to go, uh, it probably my yeah my, my file is open now here, so that's why that's why it's complaining. It was just omit. I will not launch the application because it's already running in my system, right? So um, before this is actually the the first screen you will see once sorry once you load Concord Performance System and um, before you, you actually start working with it you need first uh, a route you can get the route from anywhere or you can create your own so for instance if we want uh, I like to use uh, Flight Sync Commander um, to create my, my all my routes and, and prepare all the planning of my flights that's my favorite tool uh, by the way you will probably know it but if you don't um, it's an essential tool for me especially because it's free to use uh, for 30 minutes in a row uh, after that the application closes automatically but then you can immediately relaunch and use it for another 30 minutes and if, obviously if you want to use uh, unlocked you may buy um, um, a license from here just go fscommander.com and you will get here all the information so you just uh, we're going to choose um, Heathrow as a departing airport it's just a very quick route, it will not be uh, very complicated just to Lisbon for instance. Um, you know that you will probably like um, uh, Lisbon Airport should be here. Now uh, you will probably you know that, uh, that because Concorde could not fly supersonic over land so you will probably uh, like to custom your, your, your flight plan and um, Many times you you will find in the situation that you've got to create unique routes not followed by any other airlines. I'm just going to make a draft. I'm not interested in making um, a very detailed or, or real route. Just I just want to make a, a demo route. So I'm just going to choose several fixes 
as I said, not very precise. And then the important thing, I'm going to save the, the, the flight plan and here we've, we've got the example. I make sure I've got highlighted here um, the format for Flight Simulator X. Um, obviously first you need to, to tell the system where your, your um, Flight Simulator installation is and where your uh, FSX flight plans are saved. But I already have that so just I'm going to save. So we've already got the, the flight plan. So once we've got that, um, another thing I should have done is open After Sky, or is it running already? Yeah, it's running already. So the first thing you, sh you should do is um, set up um, different configuration uh, settings. Or before, before I go on, I just want to make sure that you know that uh, this uh, tool, Conco Performance System, is in, in, in continuous development. So um, the versions are changing almost weekly, once a week or twice a week. So it's very likely that one, uh, when you are watching this video, some of the um, of the buttons and the clicks and the menus may have changed because of that, because um, of the of the constant changes the application is um, is being receiving. So that's why I call this an emergency because I'm not going to get into very detailed explanation of every every single option. I, just want to show you a quick way to get running, but um, it's quite interesting to define some settings into inside the control panel, uh, where you can. I'm not going, as I said, going to get into the details, but here you, for instance, can choose your 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 weather source and and everything. Just go here, choose your default settings, and 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 you are free to go. And by the way, I'm going to choose um, after sky because that's what I uh, have running right now. So uh, our departure airport was London Heathrow, and once you uh, type the the ICAO code, you will get automatically automatically um, the meta on all the information about um, Heathrow Airport. And um, this is the meta, as you can see here, it's after sky. But uh, I could use a custom weather settings, or um, you can use if you choose here real, it would uh, download the the weather from the database NOAA, the the American the the American database NOAA, which is also a very uh, quite reliable source for for weather. So here. Just I have to choose my runway for departure because we now it's uh, component 260. Obviously, I would like to choose. Sorry, <coughs> um, uh, I should be choosing um, runway 27 right. That's the closest to the to the real uh, Concorde gate. So once we click here in route, this is one of the main changes in last version 1.4 um, because in previous versions this was done very differently. Now it's a very straightforward process, um, very automatic and transparent and clear for the user. So once you click here on route, you click here in add route and there is when you can choose your file. As you can see, um, the application Concord Performance System is quite clever because it automatically filters. If you um, have a look at my at my flat plans folder here, you will see that I've got several um, many many routes, many different files. But in order to make it easier to find your your route, here you will get all the the route with uh, the ECAO code. Of the airport you are departing from, uh, because right now from departing from Heathrow, I only have got this test flight for to, to Lisbon, so this is the only one showing here. You just click in open, and then automatically you've got the all the um, ADEU files uh, have been automatically created. As you know, these are the files that you've got to feed Concord X with in order to load the all the segments of the route. So if you go to the folder where um, this card is kept, um, which is if you get in here in your installation of FSX and then you click here on SIVA and inside you get ADEU. So here you've got um, all the all the route files. As you see, I have another another instance of another example here. This is uh, labeled one, and if you look at the date, this was done on the on the 31st of January. And now here, this is the second one, uh, but I should definitely be erasing this because otherwise they will be interfering. Right. So if you open the TX, uh, TX sorry txt file, then here you've got all the information or for the car. And this is, I haven't tried, but this is likely to cause problem because of this line jump. 
I don't know if this is a mistake or an error of the newest version, but I haven't seen that before in other in other routes. This is, should be like this, with no light, or perhaps this is my work wrap. Yeah, sorry, it was my the the work wrap I was using because I'm not using the default Notepad in Windows. Right, so as you can see here, you've got all the information. This is uh, because I only made very few um, intersections. It's going to be a very short uh, route with only one card, not several. Uh, right, everything is done. So I just have to click here on load. Uh, as you can see, sorry, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, uh, once again. As you can see here now, um, the flight plan has automatically been renamed, and now uh, it's starting with an S for supersonic. Uh, this means this tells Concorde Performance System that you have already worked with this route, and that this route has already been converted into the IDEA folder. Now, something else that um, no, not not here. It's it's later on. Sorry, I've I've got to explain this later on. So once you open here and click in open now, it will automatically load the route that we designed in uh, here in Flight Sim Commander. If you, I'm going just to remove this and this. Right. So if you see, this is exactly the same route that I defined in in Flight Sim Commander. But now we've got it here in Concord Performance System. Now sometimes we've got an error with the route. I don't know why. This is one of the one of the issues that new versions sometimes have from time to time, which is is detecting zero nautical miles. Uh, I do apologize for this inconvenience. I will not stop the the video here. Um, usually, um, this obviously is a bug. Here, you should take the the distance in in nautical miles. So again, I do apologize. So here, you've got the fuel management sheet where um, you can note all the uh, all the consumption on uh, it's a um, prediction of uh, all the fuel and the different waypoints. But again, as seems to be a problem here, uh, it doesn't look right. Now, uh, for the arrival and the alternative airport, here you can choose, if you right-click here, you're going to get a list of the nearest airports to my destination, which is, in this case, is Lisbon. So if you will have a look at a runway with long enough to, uh, so that Concorde can land, we, we can see that this airport here is quite convenient. So I'm just going to double-click and then it's auto automatically loaded. Now, uh, there's something I'm not going to explain because this is complimentary. If you've got some PDFs, the ICAO codes, um, I'm going to explain it right, sorry. If you've got a PDF with the charts uh, named with a cow code of the airport, um, Concord Performance System will load here the PDF with the, with the charts. Maybe convenient, but I don't usually, um, I usually um, open Navigraph for that, so this is a function I'm not really using. Now you get into the payload. Um, I'm not going to get here in detail, you just choose here your packs, your weight, your baggage, anything. Now we move to the next tab which is fuel and balance and once we are here we can choose several data several information uh, like if it's the trip is going to be subsonic the full flight supersonic if it, uh, we are going to have any distance uh, subsonic in departure or destination uh, here we can choose the the average temperature uh, for our trip which if I if I have a look at um, if I load here my flight flight plan in after sky, I import my flight plan. Well, here is the default. If I order by uh, modification date, here I've got. Oh no, sorry. If you see that th this is the problem with the um, with the distance. If you see the the file with the S that was from a previous test, which I did on the 31st. So I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to try to do again the process of uh, adding the route. So here in route I'm going to add, I'm going to add this one, this has been created, I'm going to clear and load now the new file which has been created right now. Yeah, here we got it. So I was using a, a previous version and I'm, I do apologize. Right, so we can see here now the distance which is um, roughly above 1000 nautical miles. So we were in fuel and I'm going to try now also the fuel seat yeah as you can see here we've got all the waypoints all the intersections and here we can if we print this we can take a note of our fuel and the expected fuel and and what the actual consumption of the Concorde has been so again 
<coughs> I apologize again for my, my voice. It's not in very good condition. I'm a teacher. Okay, so we were here. We can choose the holding time, uh, distance, um, taxi fuel, extra fuel. Well, just it's pretty straightforward. Now, what I was trying to do was uh, loading the flight plan into after sky, and then here at the bottom, we are going to get if you see the average temperature for our trip is going to be minus 39.8. I'm going to round up as many uh, minus. 40 degrees and the average for wind component is going to be 29 so this is what I'm going to insert here now we click in view sheet and uh, here we've got all the fuel planning so we've got a release fuel of 36 uh, tons 36.5 tons with all the calculation estimations that Congo performance system has done for us now we've got into the fuel distribution and there if we manually load the Concorde we've got here the fuel that we are going to need for its tank but we're going to have a departure um, PDF later on we, we can use for to get this information now for the aircraft balance we click here in view chart I have no idea of how to use this um, this page so please don't ask uh, just tell you that it's a necessary step even though if you uh, like me still don't know how to use this this planning you still need to click on view chart before you uh, go into the next step otherwise um, you won't be able to use the features uh, features of the following tab so we are on takeoff and landing performances <coughs> um, sorry um, I try to finish uh, quick right so here we've got the inform with all the information we've fitted Conco performance system uh, with the wind direction the wind speed uh, the weather source and everything uh, if we are going to use any noise reduction distance or anything we can compute um, all the the card with all the information for our departure we can have it in English style or French style personally even though I, I can hardly read French. I like more the the style. So now we've got takeoff prohibited. We are exceeding the weight, and we actually we really shouldn't because we are very light on weight. It's just 36 tons. So if we have a look here. We've got a takeoff weight of 121 tons of a maximum of 185. So I really don't haven't got any idea of what's going on. So I'm just going to close. I'm going to reopen and start from scratch. So, oops, it's not right now. So we are here, 27 right. Now, once the route is added, like I did before, it's not necessary to go here and add route any uh, every time. Only with new routes, the very first time we load the route. So now we, I go straight to load. I load again all my plan. The arrival and alternate, find nearest. We get this one, play load. We don't change anything. The fuel, which just load by default. Now fuel has increased uh, obviously because I haven't changed all the temperature and everything but just for the example I'm going to let it go as it is let's try now yeah there was something wrong with the previous load so now here we've got what's uh, the departure which is called the collage on French and here I'm not going again I'm not, go not going to get into every detail uh, just here you've got all the information that you need, all the V1, V um, rotate, um, V2, you've got the angle for the part 20, uh, 18 degrees, uh, what should be your climb uh, speed, if you are going to need three or four of the reheaters or uh, reheating on, uh, P7, the fuel, fuel flow, everything you, you're going to need. Uh, you've got the N2, you're going to depart with 96%, then turn into 101%, and finally to 104% with the ex, uh, exhaust gas temperature. Everything you're going to need, uh, you're going to need this here. Just have a look and decode it. Now, the uh, exactly the same for landing. According to our weather uh, report, uh, wind direction is 350. So. We've got here runway three, three, five, zero, uh, sorry, 350, uh, which is um, 7,000 feet long, almost 8,000. We shouldn't have a problem with this. 
click on compute no landing prohibited we need a longer one okay so let's go for the closet o3 uh, sorry o3 <coughs> sorry and here we've got all the information the landing speeds and we should have uh, almost 4000 feet free after landing right finally we click on report and here we've got uh, a summary of all the information we're going to need for our flight. Now, very important, here we've got a button that changed uh, its location um, in, in one of the, um, of the latest releases. I can't remember exactly when, but not very far, very far ago, this button was on, on a previous stage. Now, when you click on export data to Concord, two things happen. First one, the first one is that a copy of the ideal folder uh, is created um, with the, all the routes that we have made created uh, during all our previous flights. Um, so that is going to be here in the backup uh, folder. We've got a copy of a list of all our routes. Right now I've got it pretty clean because I only have got my route from to from Heathrow to Lisbon. And then on the well, this folder this is a backup I manually did. You won't have that on your on your copy, and you only have the ideal and the back and, and the backup but the here inside a deal folder you're going to find uh, only the cards that you are going to be actually loading inside your Concord flight using the the Siva the Siva uh, car loader for for your INS the second thing is that all um, uh, the weight, uh, sorry, the, um, the fuel uh, quantity is going to uh, be set as a um, a template uh, called uh, ZP, uh, CPS Concord Performance System, which uh, we can load inside uh, Concord X, and so that uh, we don't have to manually input the amount of fuel. Uh, it's going to be loaded directly from here. So what I always do is just click here on Flight Plan. Yeah, I want to print it, and uh, I'm using PDF Factory here, which I find very convenient. And then instead of printing in paper, I can save paper. Um, because I have two screens, two monitors, and then here I, what I do is click here on view PDF file, so I'm saving all my printing. And as you can see here, we've got a summary of all our flight with all the screens we saw during the different uh, stages of the process. And I think this is pretty much you're going to need to start flying Concord Performance System. Um, when um, a major upgrade is coming with um, more changes in how all this works, uh, I will probably update this video so you've, you've got more information and I will probably get into more details about um, what each of these settings and parameters do. But so far I think you can more or less manage with, with this video. So I do really hope uh, you found this video interesting um, and that you enjoy this wonderful tool called Concord Performance System. I do thank uh, Pierre Sassan for all his effort in preparing this tool and of course if you find it as essential as me for flying you've got here a donate button um, the tool is completely free you don't have to but I think that even though if you donate one euro one dollar five ten twenty as much as you can so um, see you in next videos